Hello, and welcome to me talking about uh, the Pokemon Burnt Tower Draft League yet again. Um, today, I'm going to be talking about my opponent for week 3 of this tournament, his team, uh, my team that I've prepared against him, and the battle that's going to be... Uh, the battle between us will follow after all that. So, uh, my opponent for week 3 is Southern Cavern who is the coach of the Pelipper Post Office. And he has a very, very scary, very, very threatening team. He's even on, I believe he's number one on the leaderboard right now, actually, in this tournament, which is very scary. And he's got a very scary team to back that up. He has Arcaludon, Zapdos, Pelipper, Floatzel, which can terrestrialize into a Water, Ice, or Fighting type, Mega Swampert, Scizor, Overquill, which can terrestrialize into a Poison, Dark, or Ghost type, Hisuian Decidui, which can terrestrialize into a Grass, Electric, or Dark type, and he also has Illumise, or Illumise, however you want to say it, Heliolisk, and Screamtail. Now, uh, if you couldn't tell, this is a rain team, so it has Pelipper to set the rain, and he has so many Pokemon here that can abuse it. Almost every single Pokemon here is able to take advantage of the rain weather condition. Zapdos is able to hit Thunder and Hurricane, all the time, Floatzel and Mega Swamp. Floatzel and Mega, Mega Swamp are both have Swift Swim, and their Water type moves are going to be boosted. Scizor takes less damage from Fire moves. Overquill can get boosted, can boost its speed with Swift Swim. Hisui and Decidui and uh, Ulamise take less damage from Fire type attacks, and Arcaladon has its special signature move, Electro Shot, which is 130 base power that raises your special attack, an Electro type move uh, that also uh, finishes in one turn if it's in the rain. So this is an absolutely terrifying rain team, and of course Heliolisk is, uh, can hit its thunders as well, being another electric type, and it has uh, dry skin as well, so it can heal in the rain as well. So yeah, this is an incredibly terrifying team with tons of threats. It's honestly like definitely the most difficult team I've had to prep for so far. Uh, am I confident? Eh, kind of. Uh, I guess we just have to see how it turns out though. I do think I've created a pretty cool team. Does it have what it takes? Definitely. Will I be able to use it effectively? I don't know. We'll see and we'll find out. Uh, so I'll get to my team now. So, first of all, first Pokemon I put on my team was Walrein again. Walrein's been here three times in a row now. For a two-pointer, it's certainly a very um, helpful Pokemon, right? <laughs> it's come to all three of my battles so far. I'm using Terra Dragon again uh, to better deal with the uh, Zapdos and the Heliolisk if they try to use their electric type moves. Uh, it's got leftovers to heal itself just passively. And I'm running a more fun set this time. I'm running Curse set. I'm running Curse Walrein. Partly because I think it's funny, and partly because I do actually think it's pretty good in this team. I have Curse to increase my attack and, stat and defense every time I use it. And I have Liquidation and Avalanche as my Ice and Water type moves, so that I can deal big damage to stuff like Zapdos and um, Scizor. Because especially if uh, my if the rain is up, my Water type move Liquidation will be doing more damage, so that'll be nice. Um, and for the things I can't hit very well, very strong, like Liquidation and Avalanche doesn't hit um, Floatzel or Mega Swampert or Arcaludon particularly well. So I have Yawn as a way to prevent them from being super threatening, just to put them to sleep, and then I don't have to, and then they're less of a threat, right? And yeah, these are I have, I, I kind of built a more balanced defensive set this time. I put a little bit into I put about the same amount into defense, special defense, just to round it up, just to make them the like the most well, the best like well-rounded defensive Pokemon as I could. Um, yeah, so that's my first Pokemon, Walrein. Um. And then, next Pokemon I decided to put on my team. Uh, finally, we have uh, Hisuian Arcanine making his debut. Uh, he's nicknamed Iwasuke, named after one of the... Uh, uh, well, named after a dog in JoJo's Bizarre Adventure Part 8. Uh, yeah, this is a... I was surprised, honestly, I'm surprised it took me, like... I thought Hisuian Arcanine would be coming into a lot more games than, than it has. Uh, just because of its amazing offensive capabilities, but I didn't have brought it, but I'm bringing it now. I'm bringing it now, because I do think, I think it's going to be useful to the team, despite the fact that it's a fire type, fire rock type, going up against a rain team. I think it can be pretty useful. I'm running a slightly 
more like defensive support based set a little bit because I've got Intimidate and Will-O-Wisp to prevent his all of his strong physical attackers like Mega Swampert and Float Slow and Sizzler from doing such big damage. Intimidate to lower their attack every time an Ordinary Switch is in and Will-O-Wisp to burn them to do a little bit of damage every, at the end of every turn and also to have their attack which would be very nice on a lot of these Pokemon. Um, I have Extreme Speed as, as a priority move. I have Close Combat to hit Arcaludon. Um, and I have Stone Edge to hit uh, Zapdos, Pelipper, Scizor, stuff like that. Um, again, there are some Pokemon I don't hit very well, like Mega Swampert, but that's why I have Will O Wisp, like just burn it instead. And I am running Terra Normal on it. I would run Terra Grass for the defensive capability, for the defensive bit, but I wanted to do Terra Normal to get a little bit of more damage on the extreme speed. Because I think it can be because I think it'll be necessary if I want to knock out certain Pokemon. I think it could be I think it's gonna be useful. And I have a citrus berry on it to increase its longevity, keep it around for longer. Uh, yeah, I've got my, I've got as much attack attack as I as I could. Um and enough speed to outspeed uh I believe this was to outspeed yeah, this is to yeah, my my speed was to outspeed maximum speed at Arcaludon. I don't expect Arcaludon to be maximum speed, but I did it anyway just in case. You can never be too careful. And then the rest of the EVs just went into defense to increase longevity again. Uh, so yeah, that's Arcanine. I'm running a bit of a different set on it, but I think it's going to be fun. I think it's going to be useful. I think it's going to be cool. And uh, the next Pokemon on my team I decided to put on is my Toxicroak. Batrachot Batrachotoxin is back. Um, this time I'm using a bit of a different set on it. I'm using Choice Band with Close Combat, Gunk Shot, Knock Off, and Sucker Punch with Terra Dark. Uh, which deals pretty good damage to pretty much everything here. It's just supposed to deal good damage to everything here, really. It's supposed to be an offensive nuke. Uh, knock off to knock off items, Sucker Punch is a priority move, and Close Combat and Gunk Shot just do good damage to a lot of things here. And it serves as a good answer to Arcaludon, unless it's like holding a Tropple Berry or something, which will be annoying. But we'll see if it happens. I do have a lot of fighting type moves on my other Pokemon, so I can get rid of it if... It does have a travel berry, but yeah. Uh, also, of course, I get the added benefit of this having dry skin, which means that I will gain a little bit of health at the end of every turn after the if the rain is up. And also, I take no damage from water type moves, so Swampert, Floatzel, and Pelipper will suddenly lose their um, suddenly then the water type moves won't be doing any damage against me because of my ability. Uh, so yeah, I think this is a it's a more standard Toxicroak set, but I like it a lot. Uh, so uh, we'll wait and see how he does. Hopefully he'll do more than she'll do more. Hopefully she'll do more than she did in the last battle um, I had with her. But yeah, anyway, fourth Pokemon on my team, Latios. Latios is back again for the third time in a row. It's, I think it's now, yeah, yeah, Latios is back. Latios and Walrein have been on the exact same, have been on every team so far, which is pretty cool. Okay. Um, yeah. Latios has Draco Meteor, Thunderbolt, Energy Ball, and Defog. Um, this really, this combination of moves really just really deals decent damage to everything here. And Defog is to remove hazards. Like, it's like there's a lot of Pokemon here that can set up hazards. Like Overgrowth can set up spikes, Mega Swampert, and it could set up Stealth Rock if it wants to be a bit different. And so could Arcaludon. I think, Ar actually, no, I don't know if Arcaludon can do it, but I know Screamtail can, and so can. Uh, Mega Swampert and Scizor can set up spikes, so I think I figured I needed to have something that could remove hazards, so I decided to put Defog on Latios because I didn't really need any other move. Having like Luster Purge or Future Sight on it would have been nice, but I think I needed a way to remove hazards, so this was my way to remove hazards. It's just fast enough to outspeed when it needs to outspeed. It has um, Yachi Berry to... Um, so it takes less damage from Ice-type moves. So if, uh, if Floatzel or Mega Swampert tries to use Ice Punch or Ice Spinner on me, then my Yachi Berry will mean that I deal less, it, they'll deal less damage to me. Which is pretty nice, because with the Yachi Berry I become a pretty good Swampert counter because I resist. I will be resisting uh, water, I'll be immune to Earthquake because of Levitate, and I'll be taking less damage from Ice Punch. Which is pretty cool. Um, and yeah, that's my Latios set. 
It's again, having Defog on it feels a bit out of place, but I think I needed something that could remove hazards and I didn't really want to bring any other Pokemon that could learn Defog, so I had to go with this. And this won't be too bad anyway, I wanted to bring Latos anyway, I'll be alright. Uh, and then the fifth Pokemon I decided to bring is Grimmsnarl, which I have nicknamed Ragtag. Grimmsnarl is um, also making its debut here. Um, because I think there are lots of Pokemon in here that can really abuse, that can be really, really fast. Like like, um, like I said, Floatzel, Mega Swampert, and Overquill all will be able to gain, um, increase their speed after in the rain because of Swift Swim. So I figured I needed a way to make them slower, prevent them from being such a speedy menace. So I decided to put Grimsnarl on my team with Prankster Thunder Wave. So with the Prankster ability, I will always move first, or I should always move first, and then... Because Prankster gives, prior gives plus one priority to any moves that don't deal any damage, like Thunder Wave. And with when I use Thunder Wave on something, it gets um, paralyzed, so it, its speed is halved, and it has a chance to not move at the, end of every, at the start of its turn, which is pretty nice. Um, I have Parting Shot as well, just to, as a way to switch out, to gain momentum, and also to uh, lower the attack or, and special attack of whatever is on currently on the field. And I have Spirit Break and Sucker Punch just to deal decent damage. And I gave myself enough speed to outspeed Scizor, trying to outspeed Grimmsnarl. I threw a bunch into HP just to increase its longevity, and then the rest went into attack, because I figured I might as well just get as much damage with this as I can, right? And I've given it heavy duty boots so that it doesn't take damage from uh, spikes or stealth rock when switching in. Just in case I can't really get a chance to use Defog with Latios, it'll have these boots to protect itself from those anyway. But yeah, this was really just to slow down all the really fast Pokemon that he has on his team. And then my final Pokemon I put on my team is Arbeliva. Arbeliva's back. Uh, this time with a very different set, it's got Assault Vest with Hyper Beam, Hyper Voice, Giga Drain, and Earth Power. And I really like this set, because with the Assault Vest, I take... I actually don't take... I, like, I deal with Arcaludon fairly well, especially with Earth Power. Obviously, this thing could have, like, Body Press or something. So Assault Vest would be less useful for that. But I can deal big damage to it with, with Earth Power. And actually, Hyper Beam does big damage to anything. Except maybe Arcaludon and Scizor, but if I click Hyper Beam, something is going to be taking a lot of damage. Obviously I won't get to move after I use Hyper Beam, but I'm thinking my idea is to just nuke something really strong, something like Zapdos, so I can just kill in one hit. With the special attack, I can just kill Zapdos in one hit, unless it is fully specially defensive, and it could be. It very well could be. Um, but there's a chance it's not, so I put Hyper Beam on it just to deal absolutely massive damage to anything that tries to switch in, and with my bolt, with my Assault Vest, I hopefully should live at least one hit from anything that's trying to deal damage to me, except for Scizor. I think Scizor is the only thing I wouldn't survive a hit from, and like, Terra Ice, Terra Fighting, Float Soul. Those are the only Pokemon I won't survive a hit from, and Hisuian Decidueye, but... Yeah. I guess it's not perfect, but I think it's going to be really cool, because if I can just immediately, if I can just immediately, like, nuke a po like a strong Pokemon, like Zapdos or Mega Swampert, that'll be incredible. And of course, Giga Drain and Earth Power, just for different Giga Drain to deal with the Water types, Earth Power to hit Arcaludon and uh, Scizor. Um, yeah, I put a bunch into HP and some into defense just to increase my longevity. And I put enough special attack into it just to deal good enough damage to one hit KO a lot of things here with Hyper Beam. Uh, yeah. So that is my oh seed sower of course seed sower to and put up to um, set up grassy terrain so I heal myself at the end of every turn which is nice I'm the opponent but like it's more for me than it is for them okay uh, but yeah that's my team for week three of the Pokemon Burn Tower Draft League against the Pelipper Post Office I uh, yeah this t this is a very very scary team I don't think I'm gonna. I don't know, I'll be honest, I'm not too confident against this guy, but, you know, I've got to give it my all. I've got to try it, and I do think I've come up with some very cool stuff to deal with um, his team. I've got a lot of different status conditions I can spread. I have ways to knock off their items, and I have ways to just nuke them with choice band 
Toxicroak and Hyper Beam Arba Leva, and of course Latios is just a bit of a powerhouse. Uh, so yeah, I'm hoping this team does really well. I'm hoping I can use this team really well. But I guess we're just going to have to wait and see. But yeah, uh, I will cut to the battle when that happens. So I'll see you guys then. Alright, we've received the uh, battle request, so I am going to accept it, and we will start. Alright, this is, looks about what I expected, yeah. Um, no Mega Swampert is nice. No Overquill is nice. Um, ooh, yeah, this is tough. Tough, 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 tough team, tough team. Uh, I am just... Ah, uh, Screamtail is annoying. This thing's going to be a nine to deal with. I think the strategy here... <laughs> I think the strategy here is to lead with Latios. Because I expect Pelipper to come out first, right? Um... Uh, yeah. Okay, yeah, I think I'm gonna have to lead with the Latios. Uh, because it's my best answer for the Pelipper. There we are, yep, there it is. There's the Pelipper. Now, I want to just Thunderbolt here. Um... Um, yeah, 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 I'm just gonna put the boat here. Yeah, fair. It's about what I expected. Hmm. Hmm. Realizing now, I didn't actually prepare for this Pokemon very well. Uh. Yeah, it's not a Pokemon I really prepped for well at all. But I'm just gonna go to Wall right here. Baton pass. Nice. I like the momentum. Very, very nice. Like I said, this guy's very, very good. I'm very scared to I'm very scared fighting against him. He's very I've seen his other he's seen his other battles. He plays very, very well. And his Archaludon's a big threat. I think his Archaludon's one of the Got some one of the most some of the most kills in our league actually, which is terrifying. Um, but yeah, the baton pass play there was good. It was a good play, but like I didn't really, I don't think as much I could have done to stop it. Like he gains, he gains whatever he does here. Fireball whiskey. That's a very fun move. I like it. Now I could immediately Terra Dragon here, but that's very bold and I don't really need to. But at the same time I'm scared to switch out into anything. Because I kind of want to save our Arbaluva, I kind of want to keep it a surprise. So of, of course I could just immediately Terra Dragon. And I might just do that and click Avalanche. But he's probably gonna Volt Switch, is the thing. And I didn't bring my ground type. I didn't bring Runarigus. Um. Ooh, yeah, this is tough. Let me take a quick look. Um. Yeah. Let's, let's discharge, but it's doing a lot. It could be using Thunder too. I think it definitely is going for Volt Switch here, but... <laughs> Scarf Circle. Funny. Um, man. This Zapdos is annoying to deal with. This Zapdos is annoying. Um, let me check out my Grim Small. That's doing a lot. Uh, 
Oh, I don't know what the right play here is. You know, actually, Latios is the kind of switch. Yeah, just do that. Yeah, we will switch. That's what I bet what I expected. Oh man, he has such good momentum. He has the zap boost. He has the everything. And this is definitely going for an ice spinner here. One hundred percent ice spinner. It's float up time. Oof. I don't have a good feeling about this. I'm gonna I'm getting I'm getting destroyed already, I feel. Oh pursuit! Oh that's awesome. Oh that's awesome. Pursuit. Wow. Pursuit float soul. That's such a cool That's awesome. I ain't mad at that. That's awesome. That's awesome. Very, very good prep. Um. All right. Grim snarl time. And I want to thunder wave here, but I wonder if he's gonna expect that and go to Zapdos. And in that case, I want to go into. Yeah, I'm gonna park shot. Yeah, there's the Mega Scizor. Not Mega Scizor, just Scizor. There's the Scizor. Um, and I think what I want to do here is go to Arcanine and click Will O Wisp. Or I could go to Toxicroak and I could Gunk Shot. No, you know what? I'm gonna do this. There. Get rid of all your attack. And now I want to Stone Edge. I'm gonna Stone Edge. He's staying in. Oh, of course, because you turned. Yeah. I probably should have Will O Wisp. I definitely should have Will O Wisp there, but uh, I think Stone Edge is still a good play because this is weakened now. Um, yeah, going for Willow Wisp there was definitely probably the right play, but I think uh, getting the damage on Scizor is still pretty big. If I had thought about the fact that it would have clicked, I should have thought about the fact that it was going to click U-turn, because then uh, Willow Wisp was definitely the right play to make. But oh well. There is the Arcaludon, and it's got a very cool name, Saturn Return. I love that name. Um, yeah, this probably just wants to click body press here, huh? Um, let's see, what does Grimstyle do against this? Yeah, body press doesn't do a ton against it, but like, it's still scary. Um,. I want to just click close combat, if I'm being completely honest with you, but... Yeah, 51 to... This is probably clicking Draco Meteor though, and just dealing good damage to any... Ooh, no, he's not. He's probably going for Body Press. Back to Grimstar. Electro Shot, that was... Definitely something I should have thought about. Ooh, I'm misplaying. I'm 
misplaying very hard. I think this thing's gonna mess me up very, very badly. Draco Meteor destroys me. Um, not a good play, but we're gonna do it because I don't know what else to do. Yep. Gorgeous. Yeah. I'm getting destroyed here. Like, completely destroyed. <laughs> um, oof. Yeah, it stings. Um, yeah, this is not gonna go well. I think I am gonna have to just try. Nuke what I can. I could tear a dark knock off here. How? No, I'll just go for close combat. Get my damage. I like tear a dark knock off a lot here, actually. It would be really nice. I think I'm gonna do it. Maybe. I don't know. Close because close combat I could just straight up kill this. And like if he has Chapel Berry, he has a ability he has the if he has a way to remove my uh, if he has a way to just immediately remove my uh, ability to kill it, then I might as well just go for knockoff, right? Like, there's no reason not to. But I might also be speaking complete nonsense right now. I'm not sure. Okay. This doesn't have full defensive investment. And, like I said, this could very well just be a travel berry. I really want to go for close combat here, but I also really want to get big damage on either Zapdos or Pelipper here. <sighs> but I don't know. I'm gonna do it. He didn't switch out. Okay. Good play. Good play. Good play. Good play. Good play. Good play. You got paralyzed though. You got paralyzed. Beautiful. That's really nice. Um, definitely should have just gone for close combat there, which is a shame, but... Um, that's okay. Uh, we did 66 to it. How does that work? I don't know if how is this? Like with your damp rock. Yeah, it's not safe for me to stay in on this, so I'm gonna go to Warren. Yeah, fair enough. I should have known he was gonna do that, but like. <sighs> because, like, he's gonna click Volt Switch here, and then what? Oh yeah, she's playing out of his mind. He's playing really well. Goddamn. I'm getting cooked. And then Sudo's gonna come in and it's just gonna click U-turn. Oh. I'm getting so cooked. This guy knows what he's doing. Absolutely knows what he's doing. He's really good at this. Um. Hear me out. What well, if I click liquidation? And he switches to Scizor, and then I knock it out. That could be fun. He went for Thunder. Okay. And he got crit. Okay. So that was the... Mm, that's really annoying. I did not think he would do that. But now I'm going to surprise him. 
I'm a bit surprised at watch this. Because Zapdos, I don't care if you're fully offensive. Arbeliva will always live a hit. Oh, it doesn't actually. What happened to my... I thought I EV'd this so that it could live Hurricane. Oh, dear. Well, let's go for it. Scizor. <laughs> God, be joking. <sighs> oh well. Two Arcanine. Just gonna U turn. No, you risked it again. Nice. Okay. Okay, I see you. Missed Will O Wisp. Beautiful. <sighs> Unlucky. Uh, yeah. Uh, with Thunder, how much damage is that going to do to me? To an Arcanine. My Arcanine, specifically. Oh, that's going to kill me. Crazy. Uh, I'm getting absolutely cooked. This guy's playing <laughs> up his mind and I did not bring a good enough team to beat him with. But damn, his team is amazing and my team is not prepared enough for him. Um, <sighs> so I'm thinking he's probably going to click Thunder here, and that makes me want to switch to Arbeliva, but what if he doesn't? What if he just doesn't do that? Okay. Okay. If he hurricane series is good, okay, nice. I can't do any good damage for this. Oh. Oh, he's got me. I'm cooked. <sighs> yeah, this is all right. What am I gonna click here? I wanna click Gunk Shot. I do wanna click Gunk Shot. That'll be fun. But against the scissor, I'm gonna. Oh no, because I'm faster than this. That's a terrible idea. What am I thinking? Um. I mean, I'll, I'll just knock off again. It's Rocky Helmet. That's nice. I forgot about. I forgot about that. I forgot about the fact that I was gonna take super effective damage from U turn. That was something I didn't think about. Well, this was certainly a battle of all time. Um, he's absolutely got me. There ain't no way I'm beating him. Terra Water Flip Turn. He has so much momentum. He has he has U Turn Baton. He has U Turn. He has Baton. He has Baton Pass Flip. Flip turn, U turn, baton pass, U turn, thought switch. My goodness. But he can just keep switching back and forth. There's something I can do about it. He's gonna click, clicking. yeah, he can just keep clicking that. Keep whittling me down. It's so easy for him. Scissor and the combination of Scissor and Float Switch here just wreck me. He can just keep switching. Between them, we can keep clicking U-turn with this and keep clicking 
uh, flip turn with Float Soul. And I either die. <laughs> oh, he's playing. He's so. This is so cool. He's like, actually, he's playing so well. Damn. Um. Try to think if there's anything I can do here to at least get just one kill. Like, who do I let die to let that happen? I believe him. He's just gonna click flip turn again, yeah. See, that's what he's doing, right? Like, he's really, like, he's good at this. He's really good at this. And he's gonna click U-turn here. Uh, and I'm just gonna click Hyper Beam, let it die. And he's just gonna go to Smolt Storm, yeah. And then I, yeah, there's no way, there's no way out of this for me. And he's got me. Wow. Super well played on this end. Super amazing team. Wow, you absolutely got me. 6-0. That is very, very bad on my end. Very good on his end. Got them. That is such a, he is such a good team. All based around momentum. If I have... All momentum based, except for Arkeludon, but that's not like that thing needs momentum, because it's so... It's just strong. Everything else had some way of just switching out. And I had nothing for any of it. He read me super well, he made really good plays, I made some bad plays. Like he had like he just had me. I don't think I honestly don't think I could ever beat him with the team that I had. Like my team just isn't isn't a good matchup against his team whatsoever. He has such a good matchup against me. And he plays super well. And so I commend him for that. Very good game, very well played. And I... Yeah, I guess that was the battle for week 3. I am disappointed, but like, I didn't really expect to win. <laughs> I didn't expect to win, if I'm being honest. I was hoping to get at least one or two kills. I didn't get a single one, but you know what? This... I... That's fine. This guy played amazingly. I'm not mad at all. This is a... He played really well. That was my battle for week 3. Hopefully week 4 will be a bit more fruitful, but I guess we're going to have to wait and see. Uh, so yeah, um, I'll see you guys next week. Goodbye.